On my furnace troubleshooting videos, one of the frequent questions that I often get sounds something like this. Jay, my furnace seems to be working, it has power, the thermostat is calling for heat, the inducer motor comes on, the igniter starts to glow, and then nothing happens. It does not light the flames, the gas valve does not open. Does this mean that the gas valve is bad? If you're experiencing a problem similar to the one that I just described, then hopefully this video will be able to help you out. Now, the original question, is it a bad gas valve? It could be, but most likely not. There's plenty of other things that can go wrong that can cause the gas valve not to open. The first thing I would suggest checking before anything else is to see if the furnace control board is blinking any error codes. Many times when the furnace fails to turn on, the control board is gonna start blinking some kind of a code. There should be a sight glass through which you can see the little LED light. Most furnaces will have it, but there are some furnaces where you have to take the cover door off to get to the little LED light. The explanation of what the different error codes mean can usually be found on the back of the furnace door. If you need some help with error codes, where to find them, how to read them, and what they mean, I have a video dedicated to just error codes. You can take a look at that one for further information. I'm gonna put a video link to it in the comments. The reason I suggest taking a look at the error codes first before anything else is because sometimes the gas valve is not opening because of a tripped safety switch, not because the gas valve is bad. And if that's the case, an error code will right away point you in the right direction. Another thing that is really helpful to know is the furnace sequence of operation, which is basically the order in which all the different furnace parts get powered on. If this is something you're not familiar with, I would highly recommend watching my video on the furnace sequence of operation. It's gonna really help with your furnace troubleshooting. So once you checked your error codes, if there is no error code, or if the code pertains to the gas valve, then we can move on to the next checks. One simple thing to check is to see if the gas valve is on or off. If it's off, then of course the gas valve will not be opening. This switch is very easy to move, so once in a while it does accidentally get bumped into the off position without you even noticing it. And of course you do want to check that the gas going to the furnace is on as well. Another problem that I often see is a loose wire connection. Especially if these wires go into a plug, a little white Molex plug, I often see those being weak. So if I just push the wire in while the igniter is glowing, the gas valve comes on. Usually the loose or bad connection is going to be at the gas valve itself, but sometimes it's going to be on the other end of the wires at the control board. So what I like to do to check for loose connections is to turn the heat on and wait for the igniter to start to glow, and that's when the gas valve is supposed to open, and right at that time when the igniter is glowing, I start pressing these connectors in and just wiggling them left to right and all over the place and seeing if I hear the gas valve click. If it clicks with me wiggling it, that means that there's a loose connection somewhere in there. It's also possible that the wire is coming out of the connector and it needs to be crimped back in. Sometimes the loose connection can be fixed, but it really varies from furnace to furnace. Other times you have to replace the whole gas valve. One thing that I like to do for my customers, if it's negative 20 outside, just to get them by, I just jam some kind of a wire nut or a wire connector in between the plugs or the wires, like this for example, to push them to one side or the other. And a lot of times having them cramped like that will get the gas valve to work. Because I've had plenty of times where I would sit there and the igniter starts to glow. And if I just put my finger on the wire and hold it, then the gas valve opens up and everything runs just fine. But then right when I let the wire go, everything shuts off. So if you're able to find the point of the loose connection and fix it, wonderful. If not, then you can try wedging something in. Then of course, if that's not working either, then your only option is to replace the gas valve. So if you check the connections and that doesn't seem to be the problem, next up, we're gonna need our meter. The gas valve can fail either mechanically or electrically. In order to check the electrical components, we are gonna need a multimeter. So let's do that first. The first thing we're going to want to test is to see if the gas valve is getting power from the control board. So we're going to set our meter to volts alternating current. And then we're going to put our meter leads on M and C, which stands for main and common. And since this wire connector has an insulator over it, I'm going to have to take this one out. And I can just go ahead and stick my meter lead right into the connector. And then I would turn the heat back on, and when the igniter starts to glow, I should be getting anywhere from 24 to 29 volts on my meter. 
If I'm not seeing any voltage, that means that the control board is not sending power to the gas valve and the gas valve is not our issue. But if we are getting power to the gas valve and it's not opening, then we know that most likely the gas valve is the problem. If you're not getting any power to the gas valve while the igniter is glowing and the control board is not blinking any error codes, then most likely you have a bad control board. But if your gas valve is getting power while the igniter is glowing, then my next question would be, do you hear a click when it gets powered on? If you're hearing a click and then you hear some gas seeping out, that means the gas valve is likely not your problem, it's something down the line. But if you're not hearing a click or a thump inside of the gas valve, that means that the gas valve is likely mechanically bad, which means that the valve inside of it is stuck in the closed position. If your valve is stuck in the closed position, and even when it's energized it's not opening up, that means you need a new gas valve. But if it's negative 30 outside and you just want to get the furnace working, there is one more thing you can try. It's not really recommended, but if you're out of options, why not? What you're going to need to do is take a wrench, and while the igniter is glowing, when the coil is energized, you're going to try to help it open up by knocking on the side of the gas valve, just like this. Now, do keep in mind that our objective is to free up the valve, not to crack it open. So it's best not to smack it as hard as you can. Let's say that the gas valve is opening, you can hear it click, and you can hear some gas seeping through. The igniter is glowing, yet the flames are not getting lit. What's going on? It's possible that the gas pressure coming out of the gas valve is not high enough. This is something that is adjustable, but if you're not a technician, I would not recommend messing with the gas pressures. But luckily, most of the time, it's not the gas pressures that are off. Usually, what happens is the orifices on the burners are plugged up. They're not very hard to clean, and oftentimes you can get them clean without even taking the burners out. I have a video where I show you how to do that, if that is something you want to try doing. And the last thing I want to mention is that it's possibly a weak igniter. So if you have a glow igniter and it's glowing, and you hear the gas valve open, the gas is coming out, yet it's not getting lit, it's possible that the igniter is weak and it needs to be replaced. One very easy thing that you could do to test this is to simply take a long shaft lighter and put it next to the igniter when the gas opens up to see if it lights it. If the gas is lit by the lighter but not by the igniter, then you know that the igniter should be replaced. I also have a video where I show you how to manually light a furnace like that, so if you want to see an example of how to do that, make sure to check that video out. And that is all I had. I hope you found this video helpful, and before you go, I got a question for you. Do you know why most people write congrats instead of congratulations? That's because most of them don't know how to spell the word.